In this video, I'm going to talk about how my business is performing and exactly how much money it's making at this point in time. I've been making videos on YouTube for four years now, generally putting out one video per week, but occasionally two. And six months ago, I reduced hours at my office-based day job from five days a week to three days a week so that I could concentrate more time on growing my woodworking and furniture restoration business and the YouTube channel. Prior to that, I was doing woodworking and video editing stuff at the weekends and in the evenings only. I'm making this video for three reasons. Firstly, a number of my viewers have asked how things are going. Secondly, making a video about it forces me to actually delve into the detail, which is something I probably wouldn't find the time to do otherwise. And thirdly, I know that some of you watching this video might be considering whether you can turn your hobby into a career, like I'm trying to do, and hopefully this will help or at least be insightful. Before we look at the financial detail, I thought I'd talk a bit about how it feels like things are going. When I first reduced hours at my day job six months ago, I found the first couple of months really difficult. At that time, I had a lot of commissions I needed to get done for my business, and my office-based day job was really busy at that time too, and it felt like I didn't really have enough time to do either of them successfully. Since then though, things have gradually been improving. There were some changes made at my day job, which meant that some of my responsibilities were taken away from me, which made working part-time much more comfortable. And for my business, as I was now working three or four days a week, I started to get on top of all of the things that I needed or wanted to get done. And also I started to settle into a bit more of a routine. Typically I'd get up in the morning, have something to eat, do some computer-based work like video editing, admin, website updates, that kind of stuff. Then about 11 a.m. or 12, I'd go to the workshop and work on projects until around five or six. I'd then have something to eat, chill out for the evening with my girlfriend and my cat. And then when my girlfriend goes to bed around 10.30, I'd do another couple of hours of video editing and then go to bed. Right now, I'm really enjoying the balance of working three days a week at my day job and then three or four days a week for myself. It's not always smooth and easy, but generally it feels pretty good and I'm keeping on top of things, which is great. Now let's look at the detail on the finances to see how the business is performing. And I need to be a bit careful here because YouTube do not allow their content creators to talk about their earnings in specific detail. It's written into the terms and conditions. So I thought of some clever ways I can share this information with you without giving any specific numbers, but there will be some specific numbers later on in the video. I started monetizing my videos in July 2015 and since then I've put out usually one video per week but occasionally two. The first year the ad revenue didn't really grow at all. The second year things started getting better. You can see here that there's a peak in December which is when the advertisers pay YouTube more money in the run-up to Christmas for their adverts to be displayed on videos. And then there's a drop in January when presumably their advertising budgets are smaller. That's pretty normal and you'll see that in year three too. That happened again, but this time there was a much bigger drop. My earnings halved in January compared to what they were in December. Still seeing lots of growth overall though, which is great. There was a big peak in May and June when two of my videos started getting lots of views. One of them was the John Heiss collaboration, plywood armchair build, and a random video I made about cutting into an Ikea shelf, which for some reason got a crazy amount of views. July 2018 is when I dropped hours at my day job, and since then into year four, you'll see that the revenue increased significantly, more than it ever has before, and part of that is probably due to it being the run-up to Christmas again. But during that time, I also started releasing two videos per week more regularly, so I think that that had a positive effect on the numbers too. Having said that, the January numbers aren't yet available, and I'm expecting to see it plummet again. If I were to guess based on what I've seen so far, I'd say it'd end up probably somewhere around here, and then hopefully it'll start rising again. So that's YouTube. Next is sales, and that includes Etsy sales and commissions. Year one, I basically made nothing. Year two, pretty much the same, as during this time, I was mainly making things for my home or for friends and family. Year three is when I started taking things more seriously. In November, I did my first commercial commission, which was two custom desks for a local radio studio. And during that month, I also sold a few other things. In January 2018, I started to focus much more on paid work rather than non-paid build projects. And during the summer, I did loads of furniture restorations and commissions, all for one client. I made two custom desks, restored lots of Urkel furniture, and repaired some dining chairs. 
During this time I also ramped up sales on Etsy quite significantly because I had more time to make things for sale and I also launched my handmade oil wax finish in July which has sold quite well ever since. Next is Patreon which I was very hesitant to promote in my videos at first because I don't want to ask people for money but on the other hand I want to allow people to show their support to help keep the channel going because the revenue from YouTube is very small when you consider how much time the videos take to put together. But also I can offer things like early access to my videos, exclusive content, free access to project plans and cut lists and name credits which makes me feel a little less guilty about it all. I opened the page in January 2017 and since then the support has continued to grow although there have been a number of recent deleted pledges which I presume is a reaction to the recent censorship scandal which I have to admit at this point I don't don't really know much about. It's not something I've read up on yet. The final thing that I'd like to do is probably the most important and tangible way of figuring out how my business is performing right now and that is a simple formula I've come up with and one that I've actually used before in one of my videos, part one of my Q&A video which was recorded 11 months ago. It's a way to figure out if I'm earning a living wage based on the amount of hours I spend working. Back when I shot that video I did a graph showing how my income broke down into categories, then I worked out my average monthly turnover over the course of a year, then I subtracted my outgoings to give me a figure for profit, and then I divided that amount by the number of hours I worked on average in a month, and there was a bit of guesswork involved there because I don't specifically track exactly how many hours I spend working each day, but I could take a pretty good guess at it. That gave me a figure for what I was earning per hour before tax. And at that time, about 11 months ago, I figured out that I was earning about half of what the UK living wage is, which is £8.75 per hour. Bad times. So what I want to do now is compare that with all of the data I have from the last six months since reducing hours at my day job. On average, I believe I'm currently working about the same amount of hours as I was back then. It's just that now those hours are worked during my non-day job working days rather than only in the evenings or at the weekend. That works out to be about 24 hours per week, which is 96 hours per month on average. So now for some specific numbers. In the last six months, my total income from everything like the YouTube ad revenue, sales and commissions, Patreon pledges, Amazon affiliates, all of that is £9,766.14. My outgoings during that time, which include things like rent for my storage space, the cost of running my van, tools, consumables, materials, all of that stuff were £3,399.27 which means my total profit is £6,366.87 over six months. When I take that number and divide it by six months, that works out as £1,061.14 per month, and if I then divide that by 96 hours average worked per month, I get £11.05 earned per hour. The UK living wage is £8.73 per hour, so it's official. I'm currently earning more than the UK living wage doing my hobby. It's been four years of hard graft, but I turned my hobby into a jobby. So with all of that celebrating out of the way, it's important to remember that the earnings I analysed were just over a six month period covering the run up to Christmas when my revenue is typically higher. And realistically, I expect in the next six months from say February into July 2019, my YouTube earnings will drop significantly. And also I'm not sure how much paid work or commissions I will get during that time or how many things I'll sell on Etsy, so I don't yet know whether I can continue to earn a living wage during the early part of this year, but overall I'm generally feeling really positive about it now for the first time ever. It actually feels like things are going in the right direction. I am still quite dependent on YouTube earnings though, and who knows what might happen to YouTube in the next few months or years. So I'm conscious that I need to identify some other sources of revenue for my business to keep it going and make it more stable. So that's it for this one. I hope you found this video useful in some way. Please subscribe to my channel for more weekly woodworking videos, and thank you for watching. Dylan, have you got anything to add? 
Dylan's tired. <laughs> <laughs>